the, the Cancer Genome Atlas Project for bladder cancer was a yeoman's effort uh, by multiple investigators as well as through the NCI and the National Institutes of Health. What it revealed was that bladder cancer is a very heavily mutated cancer with a whole slew of potential treatable targets. One of the most prevalent targets we see is FGFR mutations. And so we have a number of agents looking at the FGFR target and uh, moving very rapidly into the field of metastatic bladder cancer. We have a number of studies uh, uh, and pub that have been published as well as presented at ASCO looking at uh, the results from uh, uh, FGFR inhibitors in the metastatic setting. And I must say that, that it's incredibly gratifying that our science is, is uh, being translated into the clinic and that these are uh, uh, potentially uh, game-changing drugs for the particular patients that have these uh, mutations. I think that, that in the future we will be uh, assessing patients' tumors uh, getting uh, genetic uh, information, uh, looking not only at the tumor but also their germline. I think that one of the great things that uh, is, is moving forward is the concept of liquid uh, biopsies and circulating tumor DNA. I think that all of these things are going to give us, uh, reveal for us targets so that we can personalize therapy to minimize toxicity and treat the correct patients and get uh, what I think are really uh, uh, great results to date.